Hey guys, welcome to Surf Show and Tell. I'm Noel Salas, and today's surfboard review is on the Bonzer 5 Shelter with Channel Islands, a collaboration with the Campbell Brothers. I'm here in Oxnard, California with Malcolm, and Malcolm's gonna go into the, the whole Bonzer um, idea, the concept, the way it works, but thanks for having me out. Yeah, no, thanks for coming up, it's great. Yeah, it's great, we've got this new, uh, this opportunity to collaborate with Channel Islands, and it's uh, it's quite something to, uh, to have our logo sitting there next to the CI logo after we've had basically a 30-year relationship with CI, and 20 of those years I I shaped for Al, and we have and uh, it's culminated, you know, with this uh, collaboration and opportunity to get the Bonzer out to a lot wider, uh, a lot wider group of people, and it's it's exciting. I really appreciate you coming up and sure. taking the time to ride the boards and and see what you th thought. Awesome. Love the Bonzer, guys. Sit back and enjoy the show. As far as the rocker goes, um, it's a fairly contemporary, low to medium nose rocker, entry rocker, and it's very gradual through the center, a um, little, bit, little bit on the flat side, so you've got a bit of a speed zone in the middle there. And then tail rocker is, is pretty much medium. The Bonzer, because it has so much of, the Bonzer fin system and bottom design adds so much speed to the board. Uh, we don't really have to do anything real trick with the rocker. Um, basically, the idea behind uh, our bottom uh, rocker rails is that we're trying to um, create a board, the overall board is very forgiving. It rolls in and out of turns nicely. Um, we'll be able to pivot off the bottom, get up and down the face quickly, and also fit in the pocket nicely. So that's why we have sort of a medium uh, medium tail rocker, nothing extreme, and good paddling and good drive with the moderate uh, entry rocker. The basic the Bonzer bottom goes from, like I said, very, very slight single, but quickly into a double, and then just before the leading edge of these, the front set of fins, it moves into a V, and what we have out along the rail is a slight relief panel, so it, that it breaks there. Um, so it, that really helps the boards go rail to rail and also maintain, stay on that rail for a longer period of, of time. And that's, again, back to the idea that we have a board that's very fast, so what we're trying to do is create a very forgiving bottom to, again, come in and out of maneuvers uh, with much less effort. The Bonzer fins are canted out much more than standard fins. This is, they're approximately 19 degrees off of vertical. And so what that does is it produces a situation where when you're bottom turning, your inside fins, the ins on the inside rail, are more vertical in the water. And then the outside fins, what's happening with the outside fins is they're, they're very short, so they're not involved in, in uh, in the direction of the board as much uh, because the tips aren't hanging down very far but what they are good especially good for and what um, they do is when you're bottom turning the water is coming across the bottom of your board diagonally so what happens is that water is coming across the bottom of your board and it's getting deflected down and back through the tail and that adds to the to to quote a word the thrust <laughs> and drive and speed out of the turn so the shallow depth of the fins and the angle of the fins really helps as far as the board going rail to rail much easier it is a, a fin that we've designed specifically for the boards. The six and a half inch fin is the one that's used mostly. We do use a seven inch fin in the guns and, uh, and some of the big guy short boards or wide tail short boards. So, and just recently we've added a six and three quarter inch fin. Uh, the fin position 
is very, very important. Um, to start with, we suggest that people start on most short boards with the fin five and three quarter inches up from the tail. This is the position that has seemed to work the best for most people. Um, again, we've got the fin box, so it's, you can fine tune that afterwards, but what we usually suggest, or what we all basically always suggest, is start at five and three quarters, use that as your home base, make a little mark, or in the fin box and ride it there for a while and then you can fine tune if necessary. One of the things I noticed on this board and where I struggled to just be honest with with you and the viewers is that first I was having mental blocks with what am I going to do with all these fins because it looks really strange and then I have this huge single fin and I've personally never ridden a single fin in a short board whatsoever. When I stood up and took off on the on the board I was having a hard time with doing turns and the board actually fin staying in the water, which I thought was weird. So it was starting to slide out and all that kind of stuff. So I reached out and actually talked to Duncan and Duncan was telling me, you're making a six and a half inch fin slide out. And he's like, oh, you got to surf this more off your back foot. Right. And, you know, I've been riding thrusters my whole life. So, yeah. you know, maybe we can talk a little bit like the era and how it was, how it was created like that. And that we surf it more off the back foot and it still generates speed. Right. right? I think that's yeah. really important, right? Yeah. No, it is. I mean, we obviously with our age, we came out of the single fin era, and obviously that's, you know, more back foot oriented than, than uh, thrusters and maybe quads. So, yeah, I mean, generally speaking, the Bonzer is a more back footed, uh, back foot, back foot dominant, you know, board in terms of the biomechanics of, right. of, of surfing the board. You actually have a little bit more leeway on a bonzer in terms of where you're standing. Generally speaking, on a thruster and a quad, you're in, you know, you're set. You're in that spot, and it's more centered and a little bit more, more front foot. So you're just in that spot and, and surfing. With the bonzer, you can actually move around on the board a little bit more. You can turn from a little bit further up sometimes, a little bit further back. But again, still, it is back foot pressure. So as soon as I talked to Duncan about shifting my weight back, you know, you kind of have an option to... Um, Write them as like you know if you're riding a twin fin, you just you adapt to the board. And if you if we knew more about the board, then we would know how to adapt. So I'm hoping that you know people will look at the bonzer and be like they see the footage. This board's being surfed like a like a regular short board. Um, I'm pivoting and using my weight transitions, and the board's responding and it's going rail to rail really nicely. So in the beginning of the struggles to where I ended up with. Like for me, I'm actually sorry for the review to be over because we moved from board to board, but this board is a blast. I had a yeah. really good time on this board. Well guys, the Bonzer 5 Shelter, Malcolm Campbell, Collaboration, Channel Islands, what a fun review it's been for me. Um, up here in Oxnard, hanging out with Malcolm, I get to learn more about the board as the inventor, creator, him and his brother start to tell me and talk about it and it helped me um, a ton. So I hope that this um, review will inspire you to try something new. Get out, get your hands on a bonzer, try something different, have some fun. That's what it's yeah. about, right, Malcolm? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks yeah. for having us out. No, yeah, thanks for coming. We really appreciate it. And, uh... Reach out your hand.